What is up ladies and gentlemen, David here and today we are checking out Base Forge Hellraiser by Joey Sturgis Tones. The new Hellraiser from JST is a bass guitar amp sim designed to get you from a DI bass tone all the way to a mix ready bass tone in one simple plugin. So today we're going to check it out. Of course we're going to start with the demo but before we get into that, as always, the bass tone that you hear in this demo is 100% Base Forge Hellraiser. I did not use any post processing. There's no EQ, there's no compression, there's nothing else on this bass tone other than Base Forge Hellraiser. That is it. One simple plug in, that's all you hear. All right, now it's time. Let's check the demo. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I was a little skeptical before trying this plugin. I was like, do I really need a, a bass plugin? Like, I've been getting great bass tones with with my own methods that I've been using recently, and it's been going great. And then I tried this, and I'm like, holy mother of God, uh, this makes my bass tones sound like crap. Hellraiser is seriously good, and it's so easy to dial in a tone. In fact, I'm gonna show you how easy it is right now we're going to jump into the DAW. i'm going to show you around the plugin and i'm going to create a tone right in front of you guys so you can see how easy it really is let's jump into the DAW. so for starters here's the bass tone that i used in that track now what i'm going to do instead of doing a walkthrough like normal i'm just going to put on a dry di bass tone and i'm going to build that tone again from scratch right here so that you guys can see exactly what Bass Forge Hellraiser is capable of. Now before I do anything, here's the dry DI from the bass guitar. That is my Squire 70s jazz bass with a brand new pair of Ernie Ball strings on it going into my Radial Pro DI and straight into Studio One. So let's get started.
Now, that was the pretty much exact bass tone I used in that song. That's how I did that. And I did that in a few minutes. It's super easy to get a great tone with Hellraiser. Now, as you saw, I did not use the fuzz pedal. So I'm going to play around with that now to show you what that sounds like. I just did not use it in this track. That's it guys, that is Base Forge Hellraiser. Now, I don't know if I did this or not, but the enhanced sub, I don't know if I, if I use that at all, but that makes a pretty big difference. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on. But yeah, that is everything inside of Base Forge Hellraiser. It is awesome. It is so easy to get a good tone. I'm really stoked on that right there. That just absolutely slays. Now, of course, that is everything with the actual amp and the tone, but like any JST amp sim, you have your gate at the top left if you need it. You have your tuner that you can access at any time, and it looks super demonic and Ouija board-esque and, well, not esque, that is a Ouija board, but yeah, it looks super cool. And then you have your manual, of course. Now, when you guys get this plugin, read the manual. Seriously, read it. It tells you exactly what everything in the demon fuzz is doing. It goes really in depth on what it's doing with the compression. And yeah, just I read the manual. Come on, it helps. Anyways, let's go back to me talking where you can actually see my face. And that's it, guys. Like I said, it is super easy to create a great bass tone inside of Hellraiser. Now, keep in mind, granted, in this demo, this was a metal demo. I wanted a clanky, gritty, ballsy interface bass tone, and I got that no problem. But this plugin is also capable of much more. Using the fuzz pedal, trying out some different cabs, turning off the amp itself, you can even get a, like a good rock bass tone with this. And what really helps is that when you go into the compressor, you can compress just the low end and make sure it's always in your face, it's always there to keep those songs moving. Because especially if you're doing a rock song, you need the low end to be there and you need it there all the time. That's just one example of the different types of tones that you can get with Bass Forge Hellraiser. And while I'm here, I just want to throw out there, I really, really, really enjoy the raise hell button, the enhance sub button, and the cabinets actually. I really, really love the cabinets because when I try a lot of bass cabinets, a lot of them, I don't understand this, some of them don't have a lot of low end. And I'm like, okay, that's that's utterly pointless, but thank you. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. I just really enjoy the cabinets in Hellraiser. All of them have a very rich low end. Some of them have a top end that's very clinky and more present. And some of them have a top end that's very honky and mid-range, so you can get a lot of different tones just by switching the cabinet. I could go on for days about all the things I really liked about this plugin, but what I'm gonna say is that you guys should just go pick it up for yourself and you will see uh, firsthand how good it really is. So if you guys wanna pick up Base Forge Hellraiser, it is available right now for $100. I will put a link down in the description below, so make sure to go check that out, go get it, have some fun, and uh, make some killer bass tone. And also, I will put the preset that you heard in the demo down in the description below so that you guys can download it and try it out for yourself and tweak it or do whatever you need. I'm gonna use the one that I actually put in the song because that one is a little more polished. But yeah, the preset for that tone is in the description below. On that note, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you have Hellraiser? Do you not have it? Are you gonna buy it? Do you hate it? I don't know why you would hate it because it's like, it's like super good. But anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. I put new videos out every single week and you don't wanna miss any content, especially the songs that are gonna be coming out very, very, very soon. Um, and yeah, also make sure to ring that little bell because then when I post videos, YouTube will come up on your phone and be like, hey, he posted a video, you should, go, you should go watch it. So yeah, ring the bell, ding. That was me attempting to, to ring a bell. It just didn't come off very good. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is David, and I will see you in the next video. So have a great day. And yeah, stay classy, San Diego. That was just a little Anchorman reference, but whatever. I'm done now. Okay, bye.